right now I'm just waiting for the guy to show up. It's a white one, all wheel drive. It's got about 112,000 miles. It looks pretty clean. And I'm gonna try to work out a price with this, this seller and see if we let it go <clears throat> today. And we'll see how it goes. So what's up guys, it is the next day and I wasn't able to record and I did end up buying it. Um, we ended up working out a deal. I thought it was a fair price. So I went ahead and bought it. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. But yeah. There she is right there, all white. Aftermarket headlights, halo headlights. <clears throat> <clears throat> it's lowered on the front. He said it was aftermarket, like suspension on the front, upper control arms. Um, he said it was like a coilover set, so I gotta check on that and see that. And then the rear is just airbag still. <clears throat> it sits nice. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys inside. This is a 3SS model. Leather in the suite. It's got an aftermarket uh, head unit. Uh, it's got a sunroof and it's got the DVD in the back. It also came with a subwoofer that he threw in. Um, it's got 117,000 miles. It's got a. Oh, I just think it's exhaust. It does have a. Course up, the cat back exhaust. So that sounds pretty good not too loud. I gotta get headers for it. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah, and again, you know, I never owned any LS vehicles in my life. This is the first one I've ever owned. And I know the common issues on these, you know, is that oil pan starvation, that uh, oil pickup tube. So I could get a oil pan baffle for that. That's my, that's my plan. Um, I know transmission on these, kind of won't last long if you add some more power to it. I also want to do like the e-fan conversion and then as well as other things, you know, headers and some other stuff, but I don't know. I, I kind of want to make this like a subscriber build. Just let me know what you guys want to see done. I know I want to get headers for sure. And then I also want to throw a cam in there. I'm not sure what, what kind of cam yet. I got to do some more research and I got to do some other valve train, you know, upgrades. But we'll see what happens. I'm pretty sure you gotta do like an upgrade on the push rods and stuff. When you uh, go with a different cam. But other than that, you know, I, I also wanna thank you guys so much for, you know, motivating me and actually getting one. This was one of my dreams. An SRT8 was, you know, my dream vehicle, but an SS was also my dream vehicle. And I wouldn't have done it if it wasn't for you guys. 178 subscribers, that's just crazy. I finally got my hands on one. I think it's pretty stock. Nothing too crazy done to it. It's just the filter and the exhaust and the headlights that I noticed in the lower kit. But this one's giving me an issue with a halo light. The ring doesn't light up. So it might be a connection issue. I gotta fix that. And that actually looks nice. All white. I wanted uh, all black. You know, this doesn't look bad in white. So yeah, I'm gonna do a cold startup. I haven't started up since yesterday when I brought it home. liked it yeah catch you guys again on the next video <clears throat>